pratim Brooklyn, ja sam možda časa i kući Ja sam mnogo zajeban, u stvari samo glumim Imam kalaš i ekler, u toku i uzi lažem Imam samo nožove, ali oni skroz su zupi Smorila me tu, tri sad vrđem samo koksa Serem ganja, najbolja je od ganja, nema volja Sad naravno bi trebalo da slimujem sa droja Mene nema to da čujete, jer nije baj srco ja Hello Blazers, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi guys, Zunste, welcome to a brand new video and welcome to New Belgrade or in Serbian Novi Belgrad, which is uh, essentially the Soviet or communist, let's not say Soviet in this video, Yugoslavian hood of Belgrade. I already recorded a video about the sort of old city of Belgrade and it looks really nice, really cool. Today I came down here to the Yugoslavian hoods of Serbia and essentially this entire area we're at here, uh, the New Belgrade area, was a planned city that was built from the 50s till I think about the 80s here by the Yugoslavian governments as an in, uh, envisioning of the utopian planned uh, communist city. So today I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the Yugoslavian hoods of Serbia, the communist hoods of Belgrade and we're starting out with probably the most insane communist building I've ever seen in my entire life. So this place right here is known as the so-called Ginex Sawa or the Western City Gate. Essentially, this was a building that was built here in the 1970s. And when it was built, it was actually the tallest building in all of Serbia. Now it's actually the second tallest. And as you can see, this right here is a dime piece of brutalist architecture. First of all, the territory surrounding it, as you guys can see, it's uh, not the greatest. Probably has seen better days. I'm, I'm just, I guess there was some sort of fountain here or something. Kind of a bit of a Pripyat, a Chernobyl vibe, to be honest. <laughs> and as you can see, this is like, uh, an insane building. It's like a cambio block, but uh, and it's most like a crazy variation possible. There you go, guys. Beer is coming at me. You know, it's some, I'm that much of an alcoholic at this point that beer bottles just roll their way towards me at this point. <laughs> Anyways, this building is absolutely insane, but you can see there's a bit of a rounded thing in the top, which um, I'm gonna show a picture. It kind of looks like a, like an airport terminal almost uh, thing, watchtower. That thing at the top, the rounded thing, actually had, uh, in, the, in the times of Yugoslavia, a restaurant that would like spin around and you would sit in a restaurant, the restaurant floor would spin and you would see the entire, to your, the entire panorama of Belgrade. I'm not really sure if the uh, restaurant operates today. And the way everything looks is actually pretty nice. I don't know why that place is so abandoned like they have actual flowers in it's not too bad oh okay now this this is the shit oh. holy fuck <gasps> This is incredible. This reminds me of the movie Arrival or something. So I'm assuming that some people's windows actually come out to here. This is like a, a kind of a Hong Kong vibe as well, I think. I've never been to Hong Kong, but that's, how, that's the way I feel about this. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> I like how the entrance to this location where we just were at this, this uh, sign saying restaurant. I don't know exactly what they're pointing to, I guess, uh, to the restaurant that was supposed to be on the top here. Or maybe there was like a restaurant somewhere here, like, you know, people would sit over here and uh, look at the, <laughs> at the sky through a jail cell that is uh, these, uh, and these birds flying around. Oh my god, this is like the most atmospheric place I've been in my life, to be honest. Holy fuck. I'm sorry for swearing so much in this video, but... This is insane. And obviously, you know, kind of like everything in Belgrade, so there's a ton of graffiti everywhere, you know, it definitely has like a Berlin vibe, everything is, you know, covered in street art, always. And uh, here's an advertise for Tuda, which is basically like the same company as Rolex. It's kind of ironic, isn't it, that uh, one of the monuments of uh, the communist past of uh, Serbia, which was built to show the people that uh, communism is great, is now being used as a, as a giant place for giant advertisement banners for uh, C capitalist commodities. Oh, the irony. Well guys, thing is, right, even though this, uh, you know, area near the tower looks kind of dodgy, to be honest, right, you know, I was actually pleasantly surprised just coming up here in a taxi, how good everything looks, because when I, you know, I heard stories, you know, the locals talking about New Belgrade, this entire area, and people were saying how it's kind of dodgy and uh, it's not very safe or whatever. I was riding and I uh, honestly looked better than most of the Russian hoods back, in ho back at home, so uh, this was our tour to the uh, Gen X Tower, the Western City Gate. Absolutely insane building. Let's continue on forward on our journey through the communist hoods of Serbia. <gasps> oh my god, guys. I'm so excited. I just saw a lot of that. Oh my god. I feel, I feel like I'm at home. Look at this. 
Look at this. Here we are guys, you know, this is what like, I guess the average uh, block here looks like uh, in the Soviet parts of uh, Serbia. Actually, look at this, pretty nice. They have their own like football field in here, which is actually, looks pretty good. But what's the most, uh, what's the sickest, I guess, is that we actually just saw a Russian ladder. Amazing, I love it. I gotta be honest, man, looking at all of this, this just feels like Russia in a parallel universe, you know what I mean? It's basically the exact same thing, you know, just the way everything looks. It's like an average Russian neighborhood with kami blocks and stuff. But the kami blocks themselves are slightly different. Just the way the, you know, the playgrounds even look is slightly different, slightly off compared to what it looks like in Russia. So I'm right now just, I feel like I'm, I'm getting like a very uncanny valley feeling from this, you know? I feel like uh, I'm in like a parallel universe or like I'm in a video game or something. You see, even by this, you can see how different this is from Russia, right? This is like a communist building right here, but they have like a, where the stairs are, it's like fully glass, which is actually pretty nice, some natural sunlight. There's a bit of like an inner court, courtyard right here, which is just not a thing. You don't really get that in Russia, so it's pretty similar, but it's completely different. I like it. As you can see here, we are passing by some more, you know, very Soviet-looking buildings, pretty much. Uh, it's like, uh, looks like uh, any building in Russia ever. Uh, I would like to apologize to you guys, by the way, for looking extra greasy in this video, because Balkan weather is killing me. It is so fucking hot today, you guys will not believe. I'm actually gonna die. I think it's about 36 degrees today, so uh, I'm sacrificing my well-being and my mental state for, your, for the content for this video. Suk! <laughs> Now, I don't want to leave you guys with a wrong impression or anything because uh, not all of, uh, you know, New Belgrade is like this. You know, they do have, like, nice new neighborhoods, like, you know, the one I'm currently at right now, kind of, so... It's got drip. It's got drip, but we're not here to check out that, right? We're here to check out the good old dilapidated uh, commie blocks. So, uh, I gotta get out of this neighborhood as soon as possible because it looks too nice and go to the real ghettos. Guys, just look at the sheer scale of everything. Holy crap, like, uh, this is kind of weird, but it feels like every single one of these neighborhoods, when you walk inside uh, of them, it does like a freaking football field in every single one. According to Russian Soviet standards, this is a bit of a waste of space, to be honest, because if this was Russia, there'd be like seven more buildings on this empty field right here. But Serbians decided that, no, we're gonna have football fields in the uh, backyard of every single county block right here. It's pretty interesting. Now, one thing I need to point out about these uh, Yugoslavian neighborhoods of Belgrade is that essentially they're all split up into different sections called blocks. So this right here, I'm right now in block 39, I think, or something. And essentially, as far as I understand, like every single block has a different type of commie block uh, buildings. So as you can see, this block it has this type of buildings. Now, uh, if we walk for a little bit more, we're gonna get and in, go into another block, another area, and the buildings there are gonna be completely different and built by an entirely different architect and stuff like that, which is not really a thing in Russia because in Russia you know it's almost all pretty much the same there's like uh, about a dozen types of Soviet uh, coming block buildings and that's it they just copy paste it around the entirety of Russia here like every little single uh, micro neighborhood has their own type of coming block which makes it really interesting I gotta say though guys even though the neighborhood looks all right looks kind of nice sometimes this place just, this place is pretty trashy like I'm gonna be honest this is on a level of Chelyabinsk right here, if not worse. Uh, glad to see the camaraderie of Russia and Serbia stays uh, uh, true even here. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. It is what it is, dude. Trash love the place. Just like in my neighborhood in Chelyabinsk. It's the same kind of vibe, you know? Alright guys, so we just arrived to another destination on our trip through the uh, Yugoslavian hoods of Belgrade and uh, this right here is uh, a pretty interesting kami block building which I've never seen before. This, according to the locals, you know, I posted this on Instagram and I asked locals to give me some, you know, good locations, interesting locations to visit here in uh, New, Bel New Belgrade. Um, it's located here on the street called uh, like Television Street or whatever, apparently, and uh, I guess it's pretty fitting because the windows on these in this kami block look like little TVs, you know, remember those old tube TVs? Each and every single window kind of looks like an old tube TV in a sense, and uh, one of the locals that uh, suggested this place to me said that apparently this place uh, is crowned as one of the ugliest buildings in all of Belgrade. I do not agree. Let's be honest. It's pretty creative. I like it. It fits the name of the street. 
And it looks pretty unique. I've never seen uh, buildings like this kind of sticking out onto the facade of the building like this in the combi block ever before in my life. Now, I'm not really sure what the hell these are. There's these things uh, located next to the uh, to the combi block itself. It looks spooky, to be honest. Uh, like right here, you can see the glass is cracked and everything. It looks like a drug den. If, I, if there's one place I'm gonna get stabbed in Serbia, it's probably there. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, pretty awesome. I've never seen anything like this in my life. And also, here you can see, I guess this is a kindergarten of some sorts. And uh, just the way everything looks as well, check it out. It's very, uh, very brutalist architecture. You've probably never seen like a kindergarten like this ever in your life. I think it's awesome. Serbia has the most interesting kami blocks I've seen in my entire life, yes. You know, I've seen kami blocks in Russia, in different places, different cities. I've seen kami blocks in Berlin, Germany. So far, nothing can stop the atmosphere of the Serbian kami blocks and the Serbian brutalist architecture. And guys, what could be more fit into the uh, Kami block architecture of uh, Yugoslavia than an actual Yugoslavian car? Here we are, uh, the Yugo, uh, as you can see, check it out, it's pretty nice. Uh, this was the, uh, the cars they used to build back in the times of Yugoslavia. And I'm gonna be completely honest, I like it. It uh, actually looks cooler than uh, the cars that the Soviet Union has been building pretty, pretty much at the same time back in the day. And guys, once again, right here, a football field. Seems to be a running theme here in uh, the, uh, the Serbian hoods. And uh, another running theme is, uh, you know, this place being pretty trashed. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest, guys. Even in Russia, in like pretty shitty neighborhoods, very often you, don't have, you do not have a lot of uh, just uh, food waste like that. Um, we do have a lot of uh, like production waste, metal laying around or whatever, but this place is pretty trashed by just pizza boxes. Random shit, like, I have no idea what's going on, dude. But it isn't the nicest. Uh, and it's not the most cleanest place in Belgrade you can go to. That's for sure. I gotta be honest though, I like the way the place looks overall, like the way everything's planned. It's like every single building kind of has... It's not even like in Russia you would have... Uh, just like a, like a children's playground with really nothing on it. Uh, this is actually like built in stone and everything. It's like every single uh, building uh, has a bit of a small park ne next to it. It's actually pretty nice. It's almost like the way they built these uh, communist neighborhoods is a little bit... Uh, they thought of the people a little bit more than they did in Russia, for example, where it's just concrete building upon concrete building with really nothing else. Here you actually have like a, li a little bit of a park everywhere and a little bit of trash everywhere as well. I guess the communal services just don't do shit in this area. Like, it looks nice, and it's been preserved pretty all right as well, but just, it's pretty trash, man. And the pigeons are having to go at everything. I gotta give credit where credit is due, though. The roads, like the bus stops and everything, are pretty good and they look way better than uh, your average Russian city and in fact this neighborhood I can see is going through like massive renovations there's something new being built right here a bunch of new buildings in here and there's this and you guys know damn well I'm going right here not here you know me you know let's just start with the fact that they actually have bike lanes here in the communist neighborhoods right like this is pretty nice as you can see you know the woman on the bike is feeling great because she has the actual bike lane in Shilevix for example bike lanes is just not a thing they do not exist when you, if you're on a bike you suffer your entire life and this actually looks a lot more like Moscow right now like uh, the nicer uh, you know Soviet neighborhoods of Moscow that's been renovated like the overall infrastructure in these uh, locations I would say is better than Shilevix let's say and the way everything is just uh, plans originally by the Yugoslavian architects and city planners is also very interesting a little bit different maybe nicer than Russia but when you actually get inside these neighborhoods it's just trashed that's the only downside I think to this entire neighborhood it's just there's just a lot of trash <laughs> here's another one guys well apparently there's a ton of lotus left over from the Soviet times here in Serbia I like it Makes me feel at home. Guys, I'll help you know it smells like human piss and shit in here. Uh, but this is the inner yards of the Block 23 residential buildings. 
Looks like, uh, yeah, looks a bit dodgy. Looks like uh, there's actual drug dens and nothing else here, but I'm pretty, pretty sure that's not the case. You know, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, it is a bit spooky being around here, to be honest. <laughs> Wow, man, what a place. That's definitely one of the places to get stabbed at in Serbia. I can tell you that much. <laughs> you know, with the, from the rest of the blocks, you know, so far I've been here in New Belgrade, so I didn't get any really bad vibes. Those places though, yeah, the vibe's kind of off. I gotta be completely honest. Although out here on the street, everything's nice. People are just walking around going about their day. But as soon as you turn inside into one of these, It's kind of dodgy. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe I'm just not used to this kind of this kind of area, but to me, this feels pretty dodgy. Yeah, man. I'm gonna be honest. This is definitely the most unique, like, communist neighborhood I've ever been anywhere in my entire life. You know, you gotta realize that, you know, people live in these places and a lot of people live here and uh, it just makes me want to think and makes me wonder how this place looked like back in the day when it was first built, when this place was an actual like communist utopia that it was supposed to be. Because right now, as you can see, everything is sort of in a state of decay here. I mean, there's a ton of graffiti, I don't really mind it, but uh, you know, there's a lot of just uh, plants growing everywhere without you know, anybody looking for them or anything. Everything kind of looks like it's not been touched since like at least the 80s or the 90s. You know? Alright guys, never mind. I was wrong. Somebody is looking after this place. Look at that guy uh, watering flowers in the, in the back. That's the hero. That's the unsung hero of New Belgrade. While everybody else is just going about their day, letting this place rust and get destroyed even further and decay. That guy is watering flowers. Respect. I just got recognized here. You're from Romania, right? Yeah. yeah. So you just came here to uh, came here to take pictures and stuff. We came okay. to do some, a, a brutalist tour of Belgrade. Nice. Me, me too. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm like looking building, forward so. to seeing it on your blog. Uh, we haven't. But we had limited time. Well, there you go, guys. I'm not the only person here that's just walking around these brutalist buildings, taking pictures and kind of gawking at everything. Here were a couple of uh, tourists from Romania taking pictures of these comic blocks and also enjoying the architecture themselves. So uh, this makes me feel like there's a sense of community here. You know, I'm not the only one. <laughs> okay, guys. We're now coming out here to. An Another location right here which is called the Sava Center and uh, apparently this was like uh, some sort of uh, trade center like a mall back in the Yugoslavian times and uh, actually the Romanian guys that I just met right there told me I should come here it's really close by but they described this place as a mothership and you know to be honest I think the, the description is pretty correct again this is another you know brutalist style building it does look like something out of Blade Runner to be completely honest and it's like built here on multiple levels as well it's really cool Okay guys, yes, this is epic. Okay, this place is actually pretty sick because first of all, it's actually not hot in here, which I appreciate because outside it's ridiculous. And also, honestly, this place reminds me of uh, a location we have in Chelyabinsk, which is called the Targovy Center, which is like a mall that was built in the Soviet times, but now, now it's like not very popular. Like there's no major brands there or anything. It's kind of the same vibe here, you know? Half of the stuff here either doesn't work or half the stalls are like completely abandoned. And again, like, there's like mostly nothing in this place, but it's just so cool. I'd record my music video here, for sure. Dude, but how freaking abandoned this is, there's like nobody here. This feels like I'm in a level from The Last of Us or something. Just look at this. Like, look at this shit, man. This is a Last of Us level. <laughs> here, here I am guys, here in the Sava Center, I got Hi. stalked. <laughs> I got stalked by this girl. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She saw my uh, story on Instagram and she came to say hi, so yeah, hey. say hi to the vlog as well. Hi. <laughs> there you go. This is, uh, you know, this is what it is like in Serbia. You go anywhere, people... People uh, recognize you every block, everywhere. My Serbian friend here told me that these buildings actually were built for the military, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. And for, uh, yeah, yeah. My granddad was uh, 
somebody in the military. Oh, okay, okay. So they like, gave them their apartments and yeah. stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> that girl that I just met said I should take a bus and I no disrespect to her, no disrespect to her, she was right. I actually got to where I need, needed to go, where I wanted to go, where I wanted to film, but fucking hell. That bus was like a freaking sauna inside, it's like, it's outside, it's like 34 degrees. Inside of the bus it was easily like 40 plus something, dude, I almost fucking died. I just came out outside and it feels like it's cold. That You know, you understand how, how, how bad it really is? I'm dripping from top to bottom, completely sweaty like a fucking pig. I am actually disgusted at the moment. I hate my life. <laughs> but nevertheless, it's fun. What can what can you do, right? And here we are, guys. We just came to another location here, even further away from the city center here again in the New Belgrade district. And I arrived to this location because this probably has uh, this block right here. It's called Block 62. These commie blocks right here are built in a sort of a staircase way. As you can see, uh, every building sort of consists of uh, different portions. So the first portion, I think, has four floors. The next has five. The next has six, seven. And it probably reaches all the way up to ten right there. So uh, it's just really freaking unusual because, uh, once again, if you... Uh, have ever been to like for example Russia the comic blocks are usually all of the same height so you would have like nine a floor nine story comic blocks five floor comic blocks ten floor comic blocks 15 whatever here though the comic block starts at four and rises up all the way to 10 or 12 or something why it doesn't make any sense to me but it looks pretty sick and as you can see this again this area right here the entire place is uh, pretty dodgy um, again, another cool area to get uh, stabbed at, but uh, let's uh, head in and uh, check out some of the uh, neighborhoods and what they look like in here. So yeah, once again, you can here see it looks extremely Soviet. Uh, again, uh, these sort of yards um, located next to all the comic blocks are a bit bigger than what you would have like in Soviet cities. So the way they planned this was very, very different. Every uh, sort of building has almost like a park next to it. And uh, here you have one of these buildings again, starts pretty high and then goes down and down and down. It's really unique. Uh, you know, I only wanted to come to this district to specifically look at these staircase comic blocks. So. Uh, Let's head in a little bit further and check out some more. Again, check this place out for example. Like these buildings are pretty regular, actually looks a lot like Russia, like if you look like if you look at it this way, but the way the roads are and uh, these just the street crossings, the way everything is planned out, you know, the foliage and everything, it is, is actually better than Russia. And you have bike lanes as well, right? But uh, when you actually uh, go inside the neighborhoods and you see all these like trashed uh, crossings and everything, all rusty as hell, covered in garbage, it is worse than Russia. I don't, I don't understand this. I don't understand Serbia, dude. The streets and everything else are nicer, but you actually get inside the neighborhoods. It's worse. It's really strange, but it does have a, an atmosphere of its own and it's really, really attractive to me, to my messed up Russian mind. Here you can see another one of these. It's really, really cool and really, really unique, to be honest. Like, there's actually parking spaces in here, which is, I guess, uh, what a lot of Russians didn't think about when building comic blocks, for example. Like, uh, essentially, people just park inside the neighborhood, kind of obstructing everything for everybody. Here, they've actually taken care of that, which is actually... Again, better than Russia in itself. It's just the planning of the way these buildings are built, I think, is better. But the way they are maintained, even though Russia isn't really maintaining their buildings uh, too well either, is worse. So I would say, out of the three countries where I've seen comic block buildings, um, I would rate, uh, you know, Serbia would be third place, Russia would be second place, and Germany, of course, would be first place, because their comic block buildings look pristine. It's Germany, right? <laughs> oh wow, wow, okay. This is actually prepaid stuff. Like that one that we were just at, you know, was a little bit better than this, but this is actually holy shit. Like, look at this. This is covered in grass completely everywhere. Like it's, <laughs> dude, this is, this is Chernobyl level stuff. Like just the way how, how much foliage there is, like nobody ever goes there. I mean, it's kind of nice to have, you know, outside of your window, you have a little bit of a, <laughs> this you know a little bit of a green jungle but yeah man it's not in the best state i guess it's seen better days
By the way, that girl that I met uh, just in the vlog uh, told me that these buildings that we were just at, uh, these uh, sort of staircase uh, coming blocks that go like this, were actually built for the working class, while those buildings that we were uh, before in the vlog, you know, with the creepy uh, yards, were built for the military. So uh, those are a more luxury comic type of comic block, while these are like for broadcasters. Apparently, which is kind of interesting, but I honestly, honestly prefer the staircase ones. Uh, they kind of have a charm of their own, you know what I mean? I mean, just look at this. It's awesome. Overall, as a comprehensive review of it, I'd like to say that I did like Novi Beograd, uh, you know, the new Belgrade, Yugoslavian uh, neighborhoods, although some of these areas I would avoid at dark. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest, I would, but during the day, it's pretty cool. At, at night, though, I don't know about this one. <laughs> Alright guys, well, what can I say? It's incredible. Uh, I guess that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video though. I gave you a little bit of a tour of New Belgrade and the Kami Block areas, the Yugoslavian areas of Belgrade. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I've never seen places like this a bit before in my life. Anyways, really all I want to say is uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video once again. If you guys did enjoy today's video, then please make sure to slap the like on it as well guys. If you want to support my channel additionally, then please make sure to go to the link down in the description to my Patreon, donate to it. I would gladly appreciate it. And I will get myself a place in the Kami Block in Serbia. Definitely, I will. Because I'm falling in love with this place, to be honest. <laughs> Alright guys, anyways, that is going to be pretty much it for today's video, though. Thank you guys so much for watching that, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.